Well, if you've been watching me develop my Just Another Math Teacher account, I have been grinding up the USN lines. I am currently at North Carolina on the battleship line. We're in a random battle on Northern Lights with two submarines, one destroyer, three cruisers, four battleships, and two aircraft carriers on each team. And right away, somebody from the other team is pointing that out. We have double CVs and double subs. Lovely. Battleship's worst nightmare is to deal with submarines and uh, CVs. And now I've got them both in the same battle. Well, we are in a standard battle which means that uh, each team has a base that we need to defend uh, and at the same time we need to try to take the other team's base. The team that is able to successfully take the other team's base, not just occupy it, but hold on to it long enough to uh, change its color, which takes about three minutes if I remember right, wins right away. Uh, the other option is to kill all the ships on the enemy team. Okay, so looking around, I want to shoot an aircraft carrier first. Normally, I don't put my spotters up right away, but uh, on this map, and with this many CVs, I was pretty sure we were going to win. Oh, he was sitting still. Thought I had a target, now he started moving. I be lucky if I actually even tag him now. Well, got him with two overpins. Yeah, that wasn't much of anything though, unfortunately. I thought I had him square. I was going to try to blow him out of the water with the first salvo. That would have been sweet. Whoops, kind of dropped my mouse a little bit. And here comes Yorktown with a bunch of torpedoes. But I am eating up his airplanes. Not, knocked out six of them right away. Yeah, I, I missed that Fuso. I think he turned in just as I fired. Fire on the enemy warship. Checking things out. Whoops. Now, where did he go? Oh. Yorktown is one of the new support carriers, meaning they can actually spread a a long belt of smoke out and now uh, they're hiding that fuso from me Spotter returning to ship and Richelieu is turned away from me not really a great target he's just on the edge of my range so I'm gonna hold on a bit I'm not currently detected I'm also noticing that everybody has left our base. We have our destroyer, our Atago, and it looks like two battleships that have gone over the west side. Ooh, they're, let's see if we can't tag that Fuso this time. Uh, I think I'm behind him. Drat. I'm working on my naval battles right now, and I need to get 30,000 damage. I need to hit something, though, if I'm going to get any damage. So far, I've, I've just done a little bit of dink damage to the CV. I need a couple of good, solid punches. 30,000 is not much for a battleship to get. But if I can't hit anything, I won't get any. So, all of us have come over on the western flank, all of the eastern flank. It's chasing a Toulon, or a Takachi, it looks like, over there. And that Takachi is all over our Lexington, so bad news for Lexington if he doesn't deal with that real quick. Okay, there was a good punch on the Fuso. I got me 19 out of my 30, so another one like that, and I'll meet my naval battle quota. 
I'm up against an EU team that has three players, but um, two of them haven't played too much lately, so. My naval battles might turn out just fine this week. Oh, there, good. Got a citadel on Fuso. All right. I'm going to start turning ahead and back toward our base. I'm real uncomfortable. I'm looking at the Massachusetts coming up around that real big island in the middle of the map. If that Takachi is able to get around, he's going to get into our base. We don't have anything covering us. Okay, good. Fuso is down and out. Now let's get a shot on that Yorktown. Oh, this beer. Dang it. I probably had it aimed okay, but uh, once he disappears, my guns lose locked, then it's probably a wasted shot. Oh darn, Massachusetts got out of the North Carolina. So they lost a Fuso, but we lost North Carolina. Fuso is only tier 6. North Carolina is tier 8. You don't want to be losing those. really have a good target right now all right they got that Takachi down over there and now there's an Asashio out there uh oh but we just lost our Kagero bag nabbit that leaves them with a DD and we don't have one And we lost the shores. That puts us down one ship. Doesn't look like the Massachusetts is making headway toward us yet. But I bet he's coming this way. Taking shots at that California because I thought I had a good angle. But then he disappeared just as I was shooting. That means, yeah. My shells scattered. When you shoot while you have somebody detected and then they go undetected, your shells can still hit where they were going. But when you shoot after they're undetected and shoot where you think they are, then you are just blind firing and your shells lose target lock. Okay, there's a submarine up here kind of guessing a little bit just where he is we get an indication Good game, everyone. when he pings us but uh, he can be pinging from a variety of different directions he can be uh, pointed toward us or away from us or actually be going lateral to us and get a ping on us. Doesn't mean torpedoes are coming at us, though. Now I am detected. Hmm. He's up here real close. Keep an eye open for that Massachusetts coming around the corner. Getting ready. Oblige, Commander. Torpedoes astern. Okay, here come torps. Okay, there's one Torpedoes of them. Astern. Drop some depth charges right in front of him. Torpedoes I'm going to take Torpedoes one of the torps, but only one. Torpedoes direct front. Okay, get another We've set of depth charges. Right in front. Oh, they're both over here. Okay. Well, good thing I have HE later. Oh darn, I missed him. Okay, I got depth charge hits on the I-56. Torpedoes astern. Awaiting instructions. Torpedoes astern. Here comes some more torps, but they're going to miss. Torpedoes astern. I get some more depth charges out there. Airborne. Come on, guns! I need Problem guns solved, quick. Sir. Oh, okay, got him. Good. 
Enemy submarine destroyed. Okay, got one of them. Another one. I know he's coming toward me. There are my depth charges. Okay. Torpedoes dead ahead. And I think I can miss all these torpedoes torps. dead ahead. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes okay. To starboard. Hitting them with the depth charges. Oh, got him. Might ram him. <laughs> I think he went deep enough. Emergency dive. Okay, got him. Ooh. Enemy submarine sunk. Then I took a hard chunking from that Massachusetts over there, but had to deal with the submarines first. Boy, that really gives him the advantage. He got a good chunking on me right off the bat. I knew he was coming. All right, switched over to AP now. Yeah, uh, it took me too long to get my guns going. Sorry for the weird camera angles, but switching back and forth from depth charge mode to main gunnery mode is pretty tricky. Anyway, I am firing AP at his guns, try to knock them out, because I don't have a good angle to do anything else with him. Got my heal. Now I can survive everything but a direct shot into my citadels. Making sure my guns are staying on the starboard side. Firing at his guns again. Here we go, another one. Yeah, I'm not getting a good kick on his guns, but I am doing some damage. Okay, now let's see, almost, yep, okay, good, our Lexington finished the job, all right, now there are a couple of cruisers, yep, there they are, our team has taken the one's lead. coming straight toward me on this side of the island, the other one's going the around on the straight. other side of the island. That Massachusetts saying too much CV. Um, that wasn't the CV that the did all that. Fire. The CV just finished the job. Okay, this Ochakov has 8K torps. The Nottingham has 8K torps. I'm going to be in trouble no matter how I look at it. Let's see if I can't do a good bit of damage there. Oh, shoot, I missed. I needed to clock him so I could deal with the Ochakov. Now I am in a bit of trouble. But here comes my heel again, just in time. All right. He's trying to get torps on me. There we go, right now. There, whoo. Okay, now. Let's see if I can turn away. There were torps coming from that cruiser. There are going to be torps coming from the other one, too. Oh, the ship shoot. Is on fire. Now, no chance. I'm done. Okay, well, dang. Okay, we are in the other team's base. I'm saying, going to need help now. So even though they're in our base, we have made 50% progress on taking their base. Our Cheshire is in there. Looks like our Bayern is also getting up there. Oh darn, Asashio got her Nagato. That Asashi is right in the middle of the map. 
endangering our taking the base, but also endangering our CV, the Hornet. Okay, I'm just watching the battle develop on my mini-map. Oh, okay. We can see the Asashio right now. Good. Maybe Hornet can uh, do some good damage on him. And Asashio is about 50%. Now, the Ochikov is about ready to go down. I think, I think Lexington might be able to finish him if he hits him with a torp. We'll see. It's getting close. I think he missed with those torps. Okay. So, oh yeah, there's the Ochkov. Here comes Lexington with another load, and here comes Hornet with a load. Lexington coming in with rockets. Hornet coming in with torpedoes. Ochkov has gone. Oh, crud. Except Lexington missed. Doggone it. Attention. Support that target. Whoops. I was getting ready to type and accidentally hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'm saying you have to keep their base counting meaning keep a ship in our base don't leave and then reset the ship in hours because I can see the Cheshire right on the edge I see the Bayern headed toward the edge of the map okay got that Ochkov thank you Lexington <laughs> she who games 91 so we got a lady gamer in the Lexington Good deal. Thing is, it looks like we're about ready to leave. Yeah. I think, Bayern, I think you left the, the base. We almost have it won. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well... Okay, I think we're going to win anyway. Just uh, Shikaku is really low, and all we have to do is knock that one out, and it's game over. But we could have won a little quicker if Bayern had stayed in there. He had the longest count on the base, it looks like. No problem. This is a guaranteed win now. Okay, so our salmon is going over and attacking the Shikaku. Watching again on the mini map. I have a tendency to watch my game on the mini map. It's uh, it's actually a real valuable thing to read your mini map. Oh, Shikaku got the salmon. As you're in battle, a lot of people just see what's in front of them on the big screen. Ah, there we go. Got it one. Good deal. Okay, let's look at those stats. 143,000 in damage. I more than met my goal for naval battles. I think I only needed 30,000. 46 hits on target, where 41 of them did damage. And some of it, very heavy damage. Shot down six aircraft. Destroyed three ships. Set two fires. Caused flooding with my depth charges. Three floods. Three hits to the Citadel. Probably all on that cruiser. 46 target hits with my secondaries. And, yep, five depth charge hits. Okay, that was pretty decent. And ended up on top of the leaderboard with 2,252 base XP. Our Cheshire 
got second place, so let's comp him. And then a sub and both aircraft carriers came in next, so boo-hoo on them. So I took down that Nottingham and both submarines took some good shots at the Fuso and the Massachusetts, just didn't get to finish the job. And picked up uh, pretty good damage on the Yorktown's uh, airplanes, but the Ochakov, that cruiser that got me, I did not do enough damage to that one, obviously. Okay, so I fired a total of 109, oh, Sorry, that was including airstrikes. Okay, 99 of the armor piercing, 21 of the high explosives. So 120 shells fired, of which I landed 46 total. So, uh, yeah, uh, not too bad considering some of the range I was firing at. North Carolina does have pretty decent accuracy for... Uh, especially a tier 8 battleship. I took in almost uh, 1.6 million in potential damage. So those were the torpedoes and shots fired at me that did not hit. And that brought in almost 290,000 in credits, which I have been needing. 1,637 free XP and 3,000, almost 800 in ship XP that helped me get to the Iowa. 389 elite commander XP to help any of my captains, but over 7,700 in commander XP for this particular captain. This captain is Captain Harper, Henry Harper. He's not a Commodore, I guess not a captain anymore, but he is up to level 12 now. And so I've only had him about a week and, and had the ship about a week and uh, North Carolina has been doing real well. So I run gun feeders so I can switch back and forth between HE and AP depending on what kind of target I'm getting. and what kind of damage I'm trying to inflict and then I have grease the gears to help get those turrets turned as I twist and turn my ship I can get the turrets around quicker adrenaline rush for when I get a little bit low on HP then uh, it gives me faster reload and then currently I'm running emergency repair expert where I get the uh, quicker uh, I get more time on my damage control parties and I get uh, uh, extra heal and so I have often needed that. The next thing I'm going to go for, I have uh, two points that I haven't used yet. I'm waiting to pull in an extra two then I'll do the fire prevention expert that uh, minimizes the risk of catching fire and uh, allows only a total of three fires on me but only one of those can be on my superstructure and a lot of times your fires are starting on your superstructure so that can even uh, keep it down to a total of two fires which I can generally manage but every once in a while you see North Carolina is just burning up all right so my uh, North Carolina she is a uh, South Dakota class battleship, I believe, the same as you see with the Massachusetts and, uh, and the Alabama. So she has two turrets forward and two turrets aft. Whoops, I think I've only got one turret aft. And we have uh, three barrels on each turret, so I can send a total of nine shells downrange, but I have very decent accuracy with those shells 
and darn good range 27 kilometers range with those and uh, reload time of 30 seconds which I can reduce that a little bit uh, especially with that adrenaline rush she doesn't have a lot of secondaries but she does have pretty good AA and so that was making it difficult for those carriers to get good hits on me and uh, that's one of the things with the USN battleships they they do have good AA their secondaries aren't the greatest but uh, except for the Massachusetts and maybe uh, Alabama to some extent now since I've only just gotten her I haven't quite finished uh, getting her all kitted out but right away uh, one of the first things that I did with her was to get up to hull B and so that gave me an extra uh, about 5,000 a little bit short of uh, let's see from 53 to 66 if I'm reading that right hit points so that gives me uh, uh, get a little bit over 12,000 extra hit points which can be uh, a huge difference in a match like we were just in where if I took a Citadel I could still survive and then I have extended her range out uh, and uh, that gunfire control system gives me an extra two and a half kilometers of range and then I've improved her propulsion uh, improved engines so my speed has been increased by a little bit over three knots I'm running main armaments mod 1 to help keep my guns from getting knocked out and damage control systems mod 1 to uh, help minimize the risk of catching fire you do everything you can in a battleship to help minimize that I have the artillery plotting room mod one so that that extends my range a little bit more it also helps out my secondaries which uh, although they're not great secondaries but they can be helpful against a DD or a submarine especially if they're low health too now I choose to run steering gears mod one to help me turn more quickly rather than propulsion systems mod one or damage control systems mod 2 now a lot of battleship drivers will go for the damage control systems mod 2 but really with North Carolina's range I have a tendency to want to stay out of the cruisers range and the range of even some of the other battleships but uh, when I am maneuvering I can uh, actually dodge some of the shells because I have good steering the propulsion systems mod one might have helped out a little bit with that I could speed juke for instance but uh, I have found myself getting stuck in uh, amongst islands before and the steering gears really helps avoid that I can avoid torps and such uh, the CVs especially don't expect you're going to be able to steer out of the way of their torpedoes now the next thing I'll get when I bring in an extra two million in credits will be concealment systems mod one because if they can't see me they can't shoot me and uh, right now I am seeing at a range of a little bit over 15 kilometers so if I can bring that down by let's see 10 percent so bring that down at uh, one and a half would uh, take me to 13 and a half kilometers which actually is better concealment than some of my cruisers have so I would uh, actually wouldn't mind that so with all of my ships right now I am running Juliet Charlie to prevent uh, detonation it, it happens way too easy and uh, I get hit pretty hard sometimes in North Carolina and it wouldn't be that hard to cause one to detonate so I go ahead and run that and then uh, on all my battleships I'll run the India Yankee and the Juliet Yankee Bissot 2 because uh, that helps uh, put out those fires quickly and if I am flooding then it, uh, it gets me uh, 
uh, go in more quickly. Then, always a good idea to run Hotel Yankee on a, a battleship because you never know when you're going to have to ram or take a ram. And sometimes that can help you survive and put the other guy down, providing he isn't running his Hotel Yankees. And then every once in a while, um, you just... Uh, I almost ran over that submarine. You just never know. And that would have been really goofy, but I don't exactly know the dynamics of how that works, but wouldn't it be a bummer if I had been sunk by ramming a submarine? Okay, and then uh, in addition to that, I just happened to uh, have a bunch of these India x-ray signals that I uh, got out of some super containers or something. So. I go ahead and run them so that when I do throw HE at something, I have a better chance of lighting a fire. I am running my Mike Yankee Soxy 6 to extend my secondary range. And even though they're not great secondaries, any battleship secondaries are going to help you out. I was running uh, the anti-aircraft signals, but I ran out from this battle. Uh, it was good that I had them when I did because they did help out. And then I run the India Deltas so that I can uh, get even a better heal out of the things when I when I do have to run a heal. All right, so that's how we're set up on the North Carolina. And uh, I have to say that was a particularly good battle. She's a very capable ship, though. One of the more dangerous ships, I think. Uh, people underrate them. They're fairly easy to citadel, and if you catch one from the side, anything under those front guns is going to cause a lot of damage. And same thing right inside the engines. Catch them right at the water line, and uh, you can even blow one up with one good salvo. But uh, don't let that happen. Keep the bow in or stern in toward the enemy, and uh, uh, you can survive a, a lot of hits and then uh, the heal will bring you back quick enough to uh, to deal that damage back okay well uh, that was a nice early in the day battle it's uh, early afternoon my time so I have time to get in a couple more while I uh, uh, have the opportunity so have a great day